Now guys, and we are checking out the forecast and the track of Dorian. It was just terrible hearing all the updates from the Bahamas yesterday. Yeah, it's just heartbreaking to see that. I mean, this storm is literally just pummeling Grand Bahama Island right. here it's not for moving. over 24 hours. And it's still not moving this morning. It was a five, at least it's down to a three. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Still, winds are 120. Can you imagine just constantly outdoors right. for I over 24 hours? I mean, they're not getting hours. any sort of break, and no. no one can come in to help them or anything and there's or, nothing they can do i mean i've seen videos where water is you know high and people are in there, in there. it's like it, it reminiscent of katrina they're in their right. attics you know yeah. um and they just can't get out i mean you know we can at least drive and leave sure they have to take a boat somewhere and you can't really do that in a hurricane no uh mm -hmm. so right now there's the latest that you can see kind of still north of freeport area there in grand bahama island just continue to rake its way through the island and just devastating it as well as abaco island too which was devastated just the day two days ago uh fortunately though it is expected to finally work its way north where you can see the eye of the hurricane. It was basically over High Rock yesterday, now kind of working its way north, but still with the shallow waters here, interaction with land and the upwelling of waters, that's what's helping to weaken this quite a bit out there. So Dorian winds are 120 again stationary, so it's category three. And the pressure continues, <clears throat> excuse me, to rise at 950 millibars. Expected to remain at three all the way through Wednesday, staying far off the east coast of the Florida there, and then kind of curve its way here with the curvature of the east coast of the United States here, and possibly a landfall there in the Outer Banks of North Carolina as we head on into Friday. But again, a storm surge expected across Florida, uh, three six feet possible there. So they're going to still deal with the impacts of Dorian with the surge, the rain, and some of the coastal flooding issues out there. But fortunately, this should be a slow mover, but it will be starting to move, which should be some good news. There's trough low pressure here to the north is going to finally pull this northward here. And as that happens, that will help to make things a little bit better there. Also tracking new potential tropical cyclone seven fancy name for a potential tropical system. And basically what this is going to do winds are at 35 become a tropical depression later today and tropical storm for non as we head on into Wednesday and morning in the afternoon. So this one will be moving into Mexico. No threat to us, but you can see here tropics are active there with uh, number seven. We're looking at Dorian. We are looking at invest in here at 92 in the middle of the Atlantic and invest 91 away out here as well. So it's the getting the peak of hurricane season. You can tell just looking at the tropics map how much we just have going on across the tropics.